Hi, Keshav here. Welcome back. As part of PySpark video series, let's get started with the next video. All right. In this video, I wanted to loop through multiple tables and load the data from those tables into respective data frame. And each time, I wanted to create the data frame dynamically as df underscore the respective table name. All right. So if you look at my uh, you know uh, notepad here, I wanted to loop through this three tables as customers, product and sales and load the data into respect to data frame. But data frame, I wanted to create dynamically as DF underscore respect to table name. All right. So let's get started. I already connected to Databix community edition. Let me just import the required methods in here. And I'm just, you know, going ahead creating the code. So first, let me just create one list. The list should contain the tables, those I wanted to loop through and load the data. All right, these are the tables I wanted to load the data from. Okay. So if I can show you those tables in Hive Metastore, these tables are already there in Hive Metastore these tables are hive tables so in case if you wanted to loop through the tables from sql db also of course you can but currently those tables are there in hive so of course once you loaded the data from all those tables into the respective data frame you can use those data frames for further analysis or maybe for joining those data frames and creating the final table of course you can do that so it's completely based on your requirement. But here in this video, I wanted to show you how do you create the data frame dynamically as we required. All right. So these are the list of tables those I wanted to process. I'm just going ahead and creating for loop. And let me create a variable as TBL in the list. Let me just print how the table is coming through. TBL. Then I'm going to just define the query to load the data from my tables. So the query should be select star from demo DB because all my tables are there in demo DB database and table name will be coming through the variable that is TBL. So that's how the query should be. Now I'm going to just print the query. Let me just see how the query is coming in here. Fine. Now, if I create df equals to loading the data from respect to table, like spark.sql and execute the query that is there in query variable. So if I do so every time um, of course, for loop will uh, loop through all the tables in the list and load the data into respect to data frame that is DF. But every time DF will be overwritten, the final DF, final data frame that is DF, will have the data from the table which is loaded at the end. Right? So if I can execute this and display the data let's see how it would be so if i display so we got data but we got only sales data we don't have data of customers and product we don't have those tables data all right but this is not my requirement my requirement is every time data frame should be created as df underscore table name at Finally, when I want to display from all those data frames, I should be in a position to see the data loaded from all those three tables, right? That's what my requirement is. So for that, what we can do. So in case if you want to just, you know, append the variable here, df underscore TBL. If you pass like this, so there'll be data frame created, but it will be like df underscore TBL. It won't be like df underscore table name. Okay. So again, this is not our requirement. So in case if we pass the variable like this, let's see, 
if it is taking up if it is taking that's okay if it is not taking then that's the issue right so let me just take up that so there is syntax error where exactly error is see at this flower brackets so we can't pass our variable like this so then how do we do that okay we have one method called exec that's a built-in method in PySpark. so by using that method you can execute the required query or expression all right so here if i use exec what happens so i need to pass this as expression so i'll be just keeping that in the quotations and then close the bracket so now if this method what this method does is whatever we are you know passing as value i mean expression that expression will be executed exec is the method which never written any result but it will execute the expression in there all right so now if i execute this expression the table you know the whatever the value carried by uh, tbl variable that value will be resolved here and we would expect data frame as created df underscore the respective table name each time all right so let's see i'm just executing this for loop and below i have you know uh, queries already written to display the data from respect to data frames now if i say uh, let me first execute our loop I executed now it has looped through all these three tables respectively query has also formed now if i go and display the data from the respect to data frame see here from customers there is data frame created as tf underscore customers and let's see the result show the result see this customer data now if i execute df underscore product let's see see product table product data frame is created as df underscore product and respect to data has been loaded now if i display df underscore sales and i would expect sales data being loaded into the respective data frame see now so there are data frames created dynamically as df underscore respect to table name now anywhere in my notebook i can just call those data frames and i can do whatever the transformation i need or if i want to join all these three data frames and create one final table also of course i can do so all right so this is how you can create a data frame dynamically uh, however you want by using exec method in pyspark all right i hope this is clear so it might not be very frequent requirement but sometimes you might need to create data frame dynamically all right so which can be used for further the transformations to be applied all right i hope this is clear thanks for watching my video please do subscribe for more videos we'll meet again with a different concept until then bye bye thank you